Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are going to leave the solar system. It's just irresistible. Let's put a message on them. The same way you put a message in a bottle and throw it in the Earth's ocean. Yes, it would be great if someone on the other side of the world found your bottle with your message in it and wrote back to you or contacted you. That would be cool. Voyager 1 was launched in 1907 with a simple goal, explore the outer planets. But now, 45 years later, it's made a discovery so eerie, so baffling, that it has scientists like Bill Nye sounding the alarm. Floating alone in interstellar space, beyond the sun's protective shield, Voyager is hearing a strange hum, detecting twisted magnetic fields, and sending back data that makes no sense. Something out there is not just unknown, it's actively weird. What is the spacecraft encountering? Why is it acting strangely? And what does it mean for humanity's future in space? The answers are deeply unsettling. Voyager 1 just reached a place no human probe has ever seen. It. Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth, over 15 billion miles away. That's 160 times farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. And now it's outside the protective shell of the solar system, traveling through what scientists call interstellar space. It's not just in deep space, it's in the space between stars. It's the first machine in history to do so, carrying only a handful of instruments, a 70s era computer, and a golden record for aliens. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause in 2012, it moved beyond the influence of the sun's solar wind. The environment out there is nothing like we imagined. It's like walking into the unknown with a blindfold on, said a NASA engineer. Solar particles faded and Voyager was hit by cosmic radiation we've never experienced before. Out here, there's no magnetic protection, no gentle solar wind, only the raw, harsh face of the galaxy. But what Voyager started sending back was far stranger than expected. Plasma instruments picked up a faint, consistent signal, a low hum. At first, scientists thought it might be a glitch, but it wasn't. It was real. The plasma in interstellar space is not still. It hums. It vibrates. We expected silence. Instead, we got a whisper, said Bill Kurth, one of the lead scientists. The void, it turns out, is very much alive. And this place is dangerous. Radiation out there is fierce. It's intense enough to rip through human DNA or fry spacecraft electronics. That Voyager still works at all is a miracle. It was never designed for this, yet it's still talking to us, quietly, patiently, revealing that the emptiness beyond the solar system isn't empty at all. It's loud, alive, and far more mysterious than we ever thought. But as shocking as Voyager's discoveries have been, something even stranger happened. In Taituhem, NASA scientists noticed that Voyager 1 had started sending nonsense. It wasn't broken, it wasn't damaged, but it seemed confused. That's when panic set in. NASA is baffled. In May 2022, Voyager 1, 45 years into its journey, started transmitting data that made zero sense. Specifically, its attitude articulation and control system began reporting readings that didn't match the spacecraft's actual behavior. It was still sending signals. It was still receiving commands. But suddenly, it thought it wasn't where it actually was. It was lost in space and didn't seem to know it. What made this terrifying was that everything else looked fine. Power levels were stable. The signal was strong, but the data completely scrambled. NASA couldn't tell which direction the antenna was pointing. They feared that one wrong turn could cause Voyager to drift out of alignment permanently. And when you're 15 billion miles from home, a tiny miscalculation means goodbye forever. It's like talking to someone who sounds normal, but everything they say is gibberish, one engineer explained. This led to a flurry of theories. Maybe it was a software glitch. Maybe a cosmic ray flipped a bit inside the memory. Or maybe, just maybe, something out there had interfered with the data stream. Voyager's ancient systems are vulnerable to high-energy particles, and interstellar space is full of them. 
It was the first time NASA had seen something this weird, this late in a mission. It's like the spacecraft had a stroke, said Mission Chief Suzanne Dodd. Eventually, NASA managed to work around the glitch by rerouting data through a backup system. But to this day, they don't fully understand what caused the problem. It was a close call, one that reminded everyone that Voyager isn't invincible. It's aging, it's alone, and it's getting harder to understand. And yet, somehow, it keeps talking. Through the noise, through the nonsense, it keeps whispering back across the stars. But even through those corrupted signals, one mystery remained constant. An eerie, unexplained sound Voyager had picked up years earlier. And the more scientists studied it, the more unsettling it became. Because in the middle of the void, something is humming. The interstellar medium isn't empty. We used to believe interstellar space was a quiet place. No air, no wind, no sound, just a vast, empty vacuum between the stars. But Voyager 1 has changed that idea completely. After crossing into interstellar space, it began picking up an uninterrupted plasma wave signal, a low, ghostly hum. And it's still going, not loud, not sudden, just constant. The void is humming. This hum is caused by plasma, a gas of charged particles that fills space between stars. Voyager's plasma wave system detected changes in this plasma's density, giving us our first true measurements of interstellar space. We're hearing the interstellar medium, said Cornell astronomer Stella Ocker. It's not a void, it's full of activity. That hum reveals a dynamic environment, not a dead one. It's a place that reacts to solar storms, pulses with energy, and carries a constant, low-frequency vibration. The creepy part? This hum never stops. Even when no solar events are active, it continues. That suggests there's a baseline energy, a kind of background music to the galaxy. It may be leftover energy from stars or something we don't fully understand yet. It's faint, yes, but Voyager is the only instrument ever to record it from this far out. Scientists describe it as a whisper in the dark. It's as if space is humming its own tune like a reminder that nothing is ever truly silent. Even out here, beyond light, beyond warmth, there is sound. And Voyager, a 45-year-old machine with less processing power than a pocket calculator, is the one listening. And that whisper leads us to the next mystery. Because out there in that dark, buzzing void, Voyager is picking up something else, something even stranger twists in the magnetic field, pulses in radiation, patterns that suggest we might be near something unexpected. The shocking power of cosmic radiation. Once Voyager left the sun's protective bubble, it was fully exposed to the deep galaxy. And what's out there? Radiation, not just any radiation, but galactic cosmic rays, particles that have been traveling for millions of years at nearly the speed of light. These aren't gentle particles, they're bullets, tiny, invisible ones that rip through atoms and fry electronics. Voyager's instruments detected a sudden and sharp increase in radiation levels after it crossed into interstellar space. Without the sun's magnetic field to shield it, the spacecraft became vulnerable to the full intensity of space. It's like walking into a storm with no umbrella. These cosmic rays can damage memory systems, corrupt data, and slowly wear down circuits. Scientists were stunned that Voyager didn't fail immediately, but the implications go beyond just a damaged probe. Cosmic radiation is a lethal barrier to human deep space travel. If Voyager is getting hammered, any astronauts on a future interstellar mission would be in real danger. One quote from NASA put it clearly, in deep space, the universe is trying to kill you. The further you go, the more exposed you become, and there's no escape. These particles come from all directions, from supernovae, black holes, even distant galaxies. Voyager's resilience is incredible, but it won't last forever. Its systems are aging faster now. Radiation may be silent and invisible, but it's deadly. And Voyager is showing us just how brutal the galaxy truly is. But radiation wasn't the only surprise. As Voyager drifted through interstellar space, it began mapping something unexpected, magnetic fields. And these weren't the gentle curves of the sun's reach. These were twisted, tangled, and unexplained. What Voyager found next challenged everything we thought we knew. Magnetic fields that shouldn't be there. 
We once believed the space beyond the sun was calm, empty, and directionless. But Voyager 1 changed that. As it crossed the heliopause, its instruments picked up powerful magnetic fields. And not just any fields, ones that defied predictions. These lines didn't point outward from the sun, they were tangled, compressed, and unexpectedly strong. The interstellar magnetic field should have looked completely different. But Voyager saw something that had scientists scratching their heads. It's as if two invisible oceans, solar and galactic, are smashing into each other, creating a twisted region of turbulence. It was supposed to be smooth, one NASA researcher said. Instead, it's chaos. This matters because magnetic fields affect cosmic navigation, radiation, and even particle movement. If they're more chaotic than we thought, it complicates everything, from deep space probes to theories about galactic structure. And the cause? We still don't know. Maybe it's a nearby stellar remnant, maybe something bigger, an ancient shock wave or a force we haven't discovered yet. Some scientists speculate that Voyager may be near a magnetic anomaly, a region shaped by distant dead stars or interstellar turbulence. Whatever the reason, the fields are real. They're moving, they're strong, and they suggest the galaxy is far less tame than our textbooks once told us. These twisted magnetic fields also connect to the next cosmic mystery. Because while mapping the edge of our solar system, Voyager found that the edge isn't really an edge at all. What it crossed was messy, alive, and completely misunderstood. The edge of the solar system isn't an edge. For years, we imagined the solar system had a boundary, like a skin, a clear line where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. But when Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, it revealed something very different. The edge of our solar system isn't sharp. It's blurred, layered, and alive. Voyager's sensors showed the heliopause behaves like a breathing membrane. Sometimes the solar wind pushes out. Sometimes interstellar pressure pushes in. The boundary moves. It fluctuates with solar activity, creating regions of turbulence and instability. It's more like foam than a wall, one scientist said, and that's a huge surprise. What's more disturbing is that Voyager passed through multiple transition layers. Instead of a single crossing, it danced through a no man's land of shifting pressure and particle density. That suggests Earth's protection from galactic radiation isn't as solid as we thought. When the sun weakens during its solar minimum, the heliosphere shrinks and Earth gets more exposed. This finding changes how we think about planetary defense, solar storms, and space weather. It also means that what we call the edge isn't a line, it's a battlefield, a place where forces collide in ways we're only just beginning to understand. Voyager didn't cross a border, it stepped into a storm. And deep in that storm, Voyager picked up something even stranger, ripples but not in sound or light. These were waves in space-time itself. And if confirmed, it means Voyager is doing something no probe has done before, detecting the tremors of distant, invisible giants. Gravity waves in the void. Voyager's journey isn't just about location, it's about listening. And in recent years, scientists have begun noticing strange low-frequency ripples in its data. These aren't magnetic, they aren't light, their distortions in space itself, or gravitational waves, the kind created when black holes collide or massive stars explode. Gravitational waves were first confirmed in 2015 by LIGO, but Voyager may be picking up interstellar scale vibrations. These signals are faint, impossibly faint, but constant. They appear as tiny shifts in plasma wave patterns and field intensities. Scientists are cautious, but the signs are growing. If real, this would be the first gravitational wave sensing beyond Earth's orbit. And the implications are stunning. Voyager could be feeling cosmic events that happened millions of years ago and light years away. In deep space, where sound doesn't travel and light is slow, gravity still makes waves. It suggests that the void between stars is not just noisy, it's trembling. Space isn't still, it shakes. And Voyager, old as it is, might be acting like a cosmic seismograph, detecting the footsteps of invisible titans. As one physicist put it, it's like hearing thunder from the other side of the universe. But what is this space really? This humming, shaking, twisted environment that Voyager floats through? Scientists once called it empty, 
But Voyager is telling us something very different. It's whispering that the galaxies in between places might be more alive than we imagined. The interstellar medium may be alive, Voyager 1 has revealed that the space between stars isn't just a vacuum. It's a medium, a mixture of charged particles, dust, wash, and energy. And it's not quiet, it flows, it pulses, it changes. This interstellar medium is full of activity and Voyager has become our first tool to map it up close. What scientists are seeing is unexpected. The density isn't uniform, the heat varies, and there are pockets of ionized particles that behave like storms. These may be shaped by ancient supernovae, stellar winds, or other forces we haven't named yet. The space between stars isn't dead, it's reacting to things far, far away. Even more surprising, some of Voyager's readings suggest organized movement, ion streams, density waves, and directional pressures. This hints at larger patterns. Maybe the medium itself is being shaped by gravity, radiation, or unknown fields. It's like finding a current in what we thought was still water, one researcher said. The implications stretch across astronomy. If the interstellar medium is active and complex, it changes how stars form, how radiation moves, and how signals travel. Voyager is showing us that the in-between zones, what we used to ignore, may hold some of the biggest secrets of the galaxy. So what does this all mean? Voyager 1 was never supposed to last this long. It was built with 1970s technology, meant to fly past Jupiter and Saturn, take a few pictures and go quiet. But it didn't, it kept going, past Uranus, past Neptune, and eventually past the invisible edge of our solar system into the unknown. And now it's whispering back from a place no human has ever seen. The discoveries it's making, twisted magnetic fields, cosmic radiation storms, constant plasma hums, and bizarre data glitches aren't just interesting, they're deeply unsettling. Because they show us that space isn't silent, it's not empty, and it's not safe. The void between stars is alive with forces we barely understand. And Voyager, drifting alone in that dark ocean, is showing us just how wild it really is. Bill Nye said it best, Voyager is more than a machine. It's our message in a bottle to the cosmos. And that bottle is now bobbing through uncharted waters, sending back signals that challenge everything we thought we knew. It's a scientific miracle, yes, but also a warning. If we're ever going to explore deep space, we'll have to survive what Voyager is already enduring. And someday, when its power fades and its antenna falls silent, Voyager will keep flying alone forever, holding the golden record, our hello to the universe, a relic of Earth drifting through the stars. But before that day comes, it still has stories to tell. And if we're listening closely enough, Voyager might just change the way we see the universe and ourselves. The void isn't empty, it's alive. And Voyager is the only one brave enough to go first.